Fewer people are taking their returnable bottles and cans back for the money. In fact, so many, the state has dropped from number one in the country to number two when it comes to beverage container recycling. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. All those unredeemed cans and bottles are worth a dime each, and they add up to big money for the state of Michigan. News 10's Deanna Giles tells us what it means for you. During the pandemic, the state of Michigan shut down bottle returns as one of the only states for about 12 weeks to stop the spread of COVID-19, but that created a bigger setback than the state anticipated. The decline since the post-pandemic um, has been really disappointing um, for the recycling industry. Before the pandemic, more than 90% of Michiganders returned their cans and bottles, making our state tops in recycling. Now that number has dropped to 75%. So it's kind of been a culture of Michigan to return our bottles and cans. Shana Shupan Berry works with Shupan Recycling. Since 1976, Michigan has collected a 10 cent deposit for every bottle or can that is purchased. That deposit is refunded when you return those cans and bottles to stores to be recycled. During the pandemic, some places put recycling services on hold. Dennis Jenkins continued to bring in his recyclables. For me, it helps um, the same way it does all of the citizens in general. It's a little, it's better use of the money. Jenkins says before the bill, he remembers there being trash on almost every street. He says recycling leads to less money being spent on cleaning up trash and keeping cans and bottles out of landfills. You know, it really just comes down to consumers, it, you know, take them back. Like they're your bottles and cans, it's your environment, it's your dimes. Dimes that add up. The state treasury saying consumers are losing approximately $100 million a year in refunds. It's cleaner, it's healthier, I mean, all the way around, it's better for everybody. 78 is actually when that bill went into effect. You can bring back your bottles and cans to any store that sells them. Going forward, there is talk about increasing the bottle deposit incentive. In the studio, Deanna Giles, News 10. Now, it is against the law for a retailer not to accept bottle deposits. If you find a store not accepting returns, you can reach out to the Attorney General's office and file a complaint.